everybody, welcome back to Property Couple. I'm Leah. And I'm AK. And we're sat inside our latest finished project. It feels so good to be here. It's now January. We picked up this house in August. It got expensive. We had some massive learnings on this one, didn't we? Yeah, huge learnings on this one. We've Don't made get complacent. a couple of other videos on our channel about it. So they'll all be linked up in the cards if you want to go and see some of the big mistakes we made on this property and the learnings along the way. But anyway, we're here now. We're, we're at the finish line. It's about a week away from being tenanted. So we're going to show you a quick walk around yeah. whilst it's basically finished. There's a few tiny bits of snow left you might see them on the video but it's basically finished yeah and but there's a few little different elements design wise to this house so hopefully you enjoy those for anyone who's back here watching our next HMO thinking god they're all the same hello everyone welcome to our latest project so this is the kitchen the heart of the home as you will you know like in property documentaries and stuff when they're like the heart of the home um, <laughs> so this is the kitchen so we've actually gone for a white tile this time which i actually think is really clean part of me wishes we've done this in the bathrooms as well yeah just tiling in general or the color white this style of white. maybe we'll do it on the next one yeah so far in all our bathrooms they are aqua boarding rather than tiling so obviously tiling is a bit more expensive but um it's definitely something we're looking to do in the next one just tiles all the way through I'm trying to learn like every single time every single time we do a project we're sort of like what can we take from this one and what can we do better on the next one it's not the biggest of kitchens but i think it's big enough i mean there's just gonna be four people in this house but there is an off suite this off suite here has a coded lock on so the person with the room upstairs which you'll see shortly will only have access to this particular off suite here so as we go in and please ignore some of the snagging because it's not 100% finished yet but you can see here it's a decent sized bathroom it's, it's a pretty good size we've got kind of like an open shower here really nice and warm in here that radiator is fantastic good lighting and overall quite a nice little bathroom I think In the morning, I like my, uh, my cup of coffee, you know. So, so here I put my coffee in there, and I press it, and then I put it in there with a, no milk. And uh, you know, usually I'll just sort of sit here and uh, look out the window, just you know, ponder the day, you know, just kind of figure out what the plan is for the day, and uh, you know, take it from there. For anyone interested, this is the boiler. It's a huge. Water, water so this is our living room which is right in the center of the house we've gone for the exposed brick this time so for anyone who's watched all of our videos you'll notice that this is the first house we've done the exposed brick in we really like the look i know it's not for everyone but we just really like the kind of like industrial vibes in fact in future properties we're thinking of doing more of like the exposed piping and more of the kind of like brick look just think it really appeals to like a younger market who tend to rent out our properties so as you can see as well we've gone for lots of like little staging bits here we use a company that their job is to professionally stage a property and we work with like them back and forth they send us mood boards ideas color schemes and these things will get agreed on before the house gets staged but we're really really pleased with how it's going with them and yeah i think the house looks really cozy and if i was a tenant looking around i'd i'd be keen to rent somewhere like this I think it's quite nice as well like when you're looking around a place that there's actual like chairs cutlery glasses it just helps the prospective tenant like imagine what their life will be like in this home rather than just looking around a blank canvas. Do you know what I really like as well? Yeah. I really love this book. Yeah, Vex King. It's so good. Good vibes, good life. So good, I love that book. Uh, it just makes me think as well, like if we do our own staging one day, if we weren't to use the staging company, we've actually got so many good books that we can like put in like the rooms and on the yeah. desks and stuff like that. But I really like their choices that they've made. Me too. And it's what they're good at. Yeah, it's, there's, there's their job. They're like so good at it. I love this. Oh my God, where's that from? I love that. That's sand time. Yeah, I know. It's really cool. So I actually get a lot of questions on YouTube about whether, how much of this stuff stays. So when a tenant moves in, is, is everything gone? And the answer is no, not everything's gone. See, the sofas, the chairs, the table will stay. All of this will stay, but it will live in the kitchen. It won't live out. And then little like trinkets and things like this will be gone, these will be gone, accessories will be gone. It's kind of a mixture, everyone's always asking like, what stays, what goes, what do they get, what if it breaks? It, it just depends really, like for instance, like there's lots of like hanging plants 
and like the the artificial ones, they you don't have to put water in them. They will all go, but they look really great for the photos and for when you're walking around. This little guy will go. This guy, this Buddha will go. He was in the kitchen at one of our yeah, other ones. He's a ledge. And on he's top an absolute ledge. I think uh, as well, the bricks will go. The roof goes. Oh my gosh! Foundations stop. go. Stop, because people will believe it. Just oh. stop. So if you follow me to the first bedroom, cool. I'll show you the bedroom that's at the front of the house. So yeah, this is actually where we started the video because there's a nice big window. You guys might remember from the before shots that this was the room as soon as you walk into the house. So the tenant that lives in this room, they get their own entrance. No one else will enter through this door, only the tenant that lives in this room. Everyone else will enter through the side of the house, down this sort of like shared alleyway, and then they'll enter through the side gate into the kitchen or the living room door. Yeah, this is the first room. I think it's a lovely room. It's nice and bright. You've also got own fridges here because often people sharing houses they don't want to put all their stuff in the fridge in the kitchen they want their, some of their own things wardrobe here chest of drawers and then we've got a little ensuite here as well so you guys might remember from the last time we were here the stud walls were all put up for the en suites which are here and it's simply a shower tray we'll show you in b-roll and then a kitchen <laughs> kitchen and then a sink and a little wc Go up the staircase. Just notice the uh, <laughs> almost got over there. Just notice the auto lights coming on there. And the first thing you'll notice is more exposed brick. Again, I really do like. I really do like it. Here we go. We're going to go into the first room upstairs. Room two. Room two. So you can see with this one, it's really bright. We've got two big windows there. Big double bed. A nice side desk there with a lamp. Now this one has is going to have. It's not finished, but it's got a desk here which will have a chair there, which Leah's not too fond of, but I kind of like it because you're going to be sitting here and you can look outside and you're just looking into the room. And I think it's. I prefer it. I think it's nicer. Yeah. So this is the desk. I was thinking we'd put it here. Just need to check about the door opening and how much space there will be and actually just showing that the ensuite you may remember this was a wardrobe <laughs> so little wc here nothing too interesting and then you've got the shower tray shower and the sink not many people take baths so that's why we go for showers and obviously we are limited on space here so all our on suites or off suites have showers i knew there was a comment coming i really like this little dog it's really no low maintenance doesn't need walking doesn't need feeding <laughs> doesn't need anything another person would ask would this stay or go this would definitely go it would not be here it's just staging just to make the tenant feel like they've got a pet <laughs> I kind of feel like this would be my favourite room. Yeah, because I know you like big bright lights and you get the big, two big windows here. Yeah. Do you remember cool. how rotten the windows were in this house? They were so rotten, so all of these are new windows, which is obviously quite a big expense when you do all the windows in the house, but it had to be done. To the next room cool. now this is room three so actually again we'll show you the before photos here but this is the ensuite for this room and we've actually used part of the room next door to make that space so i mm -hmm. do really like this room as well because it's it's not on the road at the front it's on the back of the house mm -hmm. plus it's quite a square room so i quite like the shape of it again a desk in here really cool staging so Leah's mentioned before that this sort of stuff won't stay in the mm -hmm. property but again the furnishing company that we work with I do a great job of furnishing it and making it look amazing for the marketing of the property yeah so just to confirm like the desk will stay the chair will stay but it would just be like these little trinkets and I think that's the right word like little this diary. diary wouldn't stay for example and um, if anyone was wondering this 
doesn't have exposed brick, it's the exposed brick is in the corridor. Oh yeah, in terms of the beds, yeah, I really like that we can store stuff under these beds. We mm. were looking at, like, for all our properties, mood boards of what beds would be available within our budget, and some of the beds had, like, these kind of, like, leather headboards, and I just thought they were really ugly, to be honest. I much prefer, like, the metal bed frame. It's much more modern. But if budget did allow a thing potentially in the future, Ottoman beds with, like, the storage, like, the covered yeah. storage would be ideal. Also, the, uh, the 1950 Picassos are really amazing <laughs> in the property as well. So this was actually uh, found in the Second World War. Oh God! Okay, I'll take you into the single room now, which is the smallest room. So yeah, again, I really like the exposed brick. It's also really great because in our other houses, like, there's quite a lot of wear and tear. Like, white walls, people get their, you know, their luggage up here or they're just their stuff, their bags. But this is just less likely to be problematic. This is the room that has the dedicated off-suite downstairs. It is only a single room, so we imagine this would be our least occupied room. But it's really cute. It's really nice for a single person. It's just the right size. If I was working locally at the industrial estate over there or the hospital and I needed a room for six months, I would absolutely stay somewhere like this. It's clean, it's tidy, nice and quiet as well at the back of the house. Lovely little makeup bag here. And the globe. I actually really like this makeup bag. <laughs> yeah, and this globe's really cute as well. <laughs> Me and you going around like, that's staying, that, that's going. When me and Atch work out our numbers on these properties, obviously it's a bonus if this room is filled, but essentially the house is still cash flowing positively if this room's not full. This room will obviously rent for less than the other rooms because it's single. Also, we did actually get asked, do we ever rent out to couples? And the answer is no. Mostly that's because of the size of the bedrooms, but also having an extra person in the house would tip this house into five people and that needs a license. Yeah, we're not doing that. Can I just say, yeah. also as well, with this room, I know we're laboring the point of a single bedroom. There's still a decent amount of space in here and you do get quite a big off suite downstairs. So I mean, for a single occupant, I think it's great. I mean, we're probably like making it sound worse than it is because we're like going on and on about the single room. But it's just because we get so many people yeah. who ask us the question, they're like, why, why do you single rooms? Why are they so, you know? Yeah, and also I always go back to it. I always say it. Do you remember how small my little room was in London? Yeah. Like it was smaller than this. I had like it was way than less space than, it this. Was than this. And I used to pay 950 a month. Yeah. Obviously that's London prices, but you know, a room like this, if someone was to pay 375 for it, I mean, we put it on for about 45 or yeah. 400, yeah. We'd, we'd be fine with in the 300s for this because it is single occupancy. <laughs> the little Nespresso. <laughs> okay, let's go. Cool, so that is our latest project. I hope you enjoyed that one. There is actually the garden as well, but that's not totally finished. It needs a little bit of garden clearance before we show you that. Yeah, definitely not. Remember the little frog? Yeah. Remember the little frog? frog. The little frog was amazing. Yeah. And where the, is he? I, I, I can see the garden down here. Is the frog still there? I don't know. I hope, I hope we've kept he, the little frog. He was guarding the pool, but yeah. there was no pool. It was just a real it was a pond anyway we hope you enjoyed the house tour guys yes yeah, about two weeks away from being tenanted now viewings have started a few people have agreed the rooms two more rooms to fill two more rooms to so... fill so if you want a room uh, <laughs> call please, me yeah drop us a, a, a comment or a dm or whatever yeah we hope you enjoyed it we're also on instagram at property couple uk where we post befores and afters and just our life and things like that so do follow us if you don't already and we'll see you in the next video but also remember yes. to subscribe if you haven't subscribed oh uh, yeah and click the notification bell to be the first one to watch our latest videos and we'll see you soon bye bye, bye.